Would you care to remark further on the bill as amended? Representative Alberts. Good morning again, Mr. Speaker. Good morning, sir. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have a question on the bill now amended that's before us, and I think it's probably best directed to the Chair of Appropriations. Representative Walker, please prepare yourself. You may proceed, sir. Page 24, I'm looking at uh, line 798, 799, 800, and 801. Would those four lines comprise the total of our obligation for retirement contributions through you, Mr. Speaker? Representative Walker. Uh, through you, Mr. Speaker, yes. Representative Alberts. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I did a, a rough calculation uh, and came up with about $962 million for obligations in the first year of the biennium and over $1 billion, slightly over $1 billion for the second year. Does that sound right through you, Mr. Speaker? Representative Walker. Uh, through my quick calculating mind, it sounds good, sir. Representative Alberts. We're directionally correct, and it's a lot of money. And uh, with that in mind, Mr. Speaker, I, my thought is that we have to do something different. Um, clearly, this dollar level is crowding out other spending that the state needs to prioritize. And with that in mind, Mr. Speaker, uh, the clerk should be in possession of LCO 8576. Uh, this amendment that's before us is very straightforward. Uh, it requires the state controller to research uh, different options for Section 457 plans, which are defined contribution plans, so that we can begin to transition new employees to defined contribution plans. It does not uh, change um, or somehow require folks that are existing uh, members of the state's pension system to uh, lose access to their pension benefit. Uh, but it does give them the uh, ability to switch if it makes sense to them. Uh, it does require cost savings of approximately 25 percent. Additionally, it also requires the state comptroller to research health savings accounts to establish high deductible health plans and health savings accounts so that we can save money in the future. One of the things that I'm hearing, uh, Mr. Speaker, is that for the um, foreseeable future, pension plans that now exist really are impossible to maintain. These two different types of plans will go a long way to saving money for the state, and they'll also give the workforce the flexibility it needs. One of the things that I'm hearing particularly from our younger state employees, is that they want the flexibility to go forward and be able to move and have um, other options for their retirement savings, and I believe this will do it, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I move for adoption, and I ask that when the vote be taken, it be taken by roll call. The question before the chamber is a roll call vote. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Necessary 100% has been met. When the vote is taken, it will be taken by roll. Would you care to remark further on the amendment before us? Representative Alberts, you still have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think with such an enthusiastic response, I'm sure this will get overwhelming support in the roll call vote. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.